Have you ever wondered how many possible pictures are there? I'm not asking how many pictures have been taken. It's how many possible pictures are there? You might say, well, that's a dumb question. There's an infinite number of possible pictures. But I'm going to show you how to analyze this in terms of a digital picture. Like, first of all, what is a picture? Okay, let's consider a picture to be a frame from a 4K uh, high-definition movie. So it has some number of pixels across, some number of pixels high, and each pixel can have a different color. Each pixel can have 16.7 million different colors, and there's about 8 million different pixels. So how do you come up with the, the total number of possible pictures? It, each pixel is independent of the other pixels, so you take the number of possibilities for the first pixel times the number of possibilities for the next pixel. So that's about 16.7 million raised to the 8 million power, which is some enormous number, much bigger than the number of particles in the universe. But it's finite, so there's not an infinite number of pixels. I'm going to show you exactly how that works. And then another interesting question is, how do we generate a, a random picture? And there's some really cool um, websites called this person does not exist.com and this cat does not exist.com where if you go to these websites and refresh and I'll show you it keeps generating a random person or a random cat that looks totally believable it's really cool let's take a look so the question we're trying to answer is how many possible pictures are there all the possible pictures okay a picture is composed of individual pixels and so we say, how many different colors can each pixel be? And the red value can go from 0 to 255, the green can go from 0 to 255, and the blue can go from 0 to 255. So that's 256 choices for each color. So it's 8 bits for each color. So we multiply 256 times 256 times 256 and we get 16.7 million colors. So this is called 24-bit color because we have eight bits for each of the colors. Now looking back on this, perhaps this is suboptimal because our eyes aren't equally sensitive to red, green, and blue, but anyways, this is the world we live in with 16.7 million colors. So this used to be a big thing back with Windows 95 and Windows 3.1 that say 16.7 million colors. So now we want to know how many pixels are there on any given picture. So the picture we're considering is a single frame from a 4K movie. So by just remembering a few key things, we can, we can work this out. So you got to remember this number 1080. That's the number of vertical pixels in an HD uh, movie. And you should also remember 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This is when we got rid of the old TVs used to be like four by three aspect ratio. And now it, nowadays everything is this 16 by nine. They call it HD aspect ratio. So you should re remember this number anyway, 16 by nine. All the televisions, all the modern laptops and computer screens. Well, I shouldn't say all because now some of them are even wider. But this is the standard um, 16 by nine aspect ratio. So you can just multiply... 1080 by 16.9 by 16 over 9 to get the uh, width of the screen and 4k is by definition um, four copies of HD so we have four copies of HD so you end up with 4k so when you multiply here's the height here's the width and we've got four copies of it so it's about 8.3 million pixels and the pixels are uncorrelated so we multiply 16.7 um, million times itself uh, 8 million times. So the number of possible pictures is the number of colors to the number of pixel powers because each each pixel is independent. So we so each one uh, we have 16.7 million choices for each pixel. So this is not multiplication, this is exponentiation. So you get 2 to the 199 million power. Some truly enormous number if you want to write that base 10 10 to the 59 million power. So that's 59 million digits long. So you have no chance of seeing all the picture, picture. You have no chance of seeing all the pictures that could ever possibly be. And anyways, most of them are static anyways. 
So I, I said, okay, let me just generate a random picture where each pixel, I just generate a random color. Well, unfortunately, I'm actually using a color map here, so this is somewhat uh, misleading. But basically, when you generate a random picture, you get um, uncorrelated pixels, and it just looks like static. So I said, well, pixel, oh, I'm really tripping up over pixel and picture. So anyways, if I try to generate a random picture, there should be correlations between the pixels. So I said, well, let me see if I can write a little Python program. So I just fiddled around. And to me, this, this picture I generated is kind of beautiful. Like I could see this hanging on the wall in an art museum and somebody saying, oh, what beautiful modern art or something like that. Or it looks like a meteor shower or something. It, and this was just completely generated by this little Python script here. And, and I, I think it looks pretty nice. This is kind of like... Um, Feynman's point, Richard Feynman, when he learned to draw, you know, the artists were saying, oh, it's all emotional and stuff. And this is just a computer program generating art. Um, and then I was just fiddling around with the different color scales. Matplotlib has a bunch of different um, color mappings uh, to see which one looks good. Okay, now for the fun part. Go to this webpage, thispersondoesnotexist.com. And this person... <laughs> doesn't exist. It's just made by this neural net. Uh, so every time you reload it, it makes a new person. I mean, and this person looks totally plausible, right? It looks like you could run into this person on the screen and you just keep reloading and it just keeps generating uh, a fake person, which is crazy. Very interesting. This person looks plausible. And you can also go to this cat does not exist. This looks like a totally plausible cat. You could just reload your browser, just keep pressing the refresh button. And these aren't real cats. These are generated by a machine learning algorithm, which is really cool. I think machine learning is the subject that's most likely to have the largest impact on our lives. It's just a really crazy subject. And it's, whoa, look at that blue eye. Huh, that's interesting. Um, and it's gonna be harder and harder to tell you know, what is real and what is fake and blurring the line, uh, it's going to be very interesting. We learned that there are an enormous number of pictures, possible pictures, like uh, it's a 59 million digit long number. It's much bigger than a Google. The number Google only has 100 digits. So this one has 59 million digits. But uh, it's not as big as a Googleplex. Googleplex has a Google digits. This only has 59 million digits. And thank you very much. Go study machine learning and make a nice contribution to the world.